Today I have The Better Tree Fort. Now this book is written by Jessica Scott Karen and quit pictures by Quinn Ling. I always wanted a tree fort. Russell's new home was better than his last one because of the giant maple tree in the backyard. It had great big limbs and a trunk so wide even Russell's dad could not wrap his arms around it. Russell said to his dad, let's build a tree fort. Russell's dad said, I don't know much about building. He looked up, 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 or tree forts, he added. Russell said, I'll draw you a plan. What's this, Russell's dad asked. It's a balcony to watch from. And this, oh, a slide for a quick escape. And this, a skylight to see the stars. And this, a basket to haul up our sleeping bags and binoculars and my big book of birds. Let's go to the lumber store, Russell's dad said. They roamed up and down the aisles. Russell's dad looked lost until a man in an apron came to help. Russell showed him the plan. The man in the apron sold them tools and lumber. And when they got home, they spread everything out in the backyard like an enormous puzzle. Russell nailed his plan to the fence near the maple tree. Russell's dad took a long time to get started. He measured things over and over again. And there were four more trips to the lumber store. But slowly, the tree fort started to take shape. First the floor, then the walls with the cutout windows. The roof was particularly tricky. When his dad was done, Russell painted the trapdoor Robin's egg blue. It's perfect, Russell said, breathing in the sweet smell of fresh cut wood. But there's no skylight or balcony, Russell's dad admitted. Or escape slide, he added. Oh, it's perfect, Russell said. They ate peanut butter and jam sandwiches for dinner in the tree fort and slept up top in their sleeping bags as the night sky filled with glittering stars. They even thought they might have heard an owl. That is so cool. The next morning, as Russell was spotting birds from his tree fort, he heard a hammer and a table saw. A construction crew in hard hats was building something in the backyard three houses over. Russell watched all day from his tree fort. What were they building? And then he gasped. Hmm. They were building a tree fort, only this tree fort was bigger and straighter. It had a slide for quick escapes and turrets like a castle. It even had real working lights. The construction crew tested them on, off, on, off. Oh man, that's amazing. When the tree fort was done, a boy the same size as Russell came into the backyard. He nodded at the foreman and then climbed up into the tree fort. The construction crew packed their tools into a van and drove off. Russell scrambled down his rope ladder and over to the backyard three houses away. He stood at the bottom of the better tree fort. It was so large it blocked the sun. Hello, Russell called. The boy Russell sized stepped onto the balcony and peered down at him. Russell said, I'm Russell. He pointed over his shoulder. That's my tree fort. I'm Warren, the boy said. Come on up. Russell climbed the spiral stairs and looked around, astonished. There was a radio plugged into an electrical socket. There was a rug on the floor and shelves filled with dishes. There were bunk beds with pillows. There was even a skylight. Warren turned on the music. Would you like something to drink, he asked. I have apple juice. Russell said, yes, please. He added, you have a very nice tree fort. Warren said, my dad ordered the plans. Russell finished his juice. He had been taught to rinse his dishes when he was done. And because this tree fort had everything, Russell asked, where's your kitchen sink? A kitchen sink? With running water up here? Warren scoffed. Russell shrugged. He said, I'm sure that somewhere there's a tree fort with a kitchen sink. You're right. Warren said with a frown. There probably is. Russell asked, do you want to see my tree fort sometime? Warren, Warren nodded, but he was still thinking about the better tree fort with a kitchen sink. 
When Russell got home, his dad was cutting the lawn. He waved as Russell climbed up his rope ladder. When Russell reached the top, he waved back from his truck door. He watched his dad mow. When his dad was done gardening, he joined Russell up top. They looked out the window at the tree fort three houses over. Russell's dad said, there will always be a better tree fort. Russell smiled and then he said, but not a better dad. The end. Oh, I like that last part. Have a good day.